Hello class, uh, this is a short video on how to fix the problem with FlameShop not working when uh, after, right after you finish the installation. Some people are having issues with that. Um, to fix this, uh, all you have to do is log out of Ubuntu completely, just log out. And before you sign in, click on the GS icon over here. Switch from the regular Ubuntu to Ubuntu on XOR. And then once you are in this one over here, try to type your password. And now uh, Flame should, should work with no problem. This happens because uh, from version 20.04 to 22.04, Ubuntu changed the compositor from XOR to Wayland. And Wayland, the program that is doing this now, does not support Flameshot. It's a weird problem going on. So to fix this issue, we will be using the X, uh, the X server rather than Wayland during the course. Uh, hopefully the developers or Ubuntu fixes that uh, in the near future. At this point, if you have already added uh, Flameshot as, uh, let me go over here, keyboard, if you have, if you have already added Flameshot to your, you know, if you have installed the program already and you have it in your list of shortcuts, right over here, where are we, where are we, no, 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 custom shortcuts. Screenshots and right over here where we have custom shortcuts right there. Flameshot. If it looks like this, so make sure that your command is Flameshot GUI, the name is Flameshot, and the shortcut is the print key. Once you have done that, you hit the print screen key on your keyboard. Give me one second. It should trigger the Flameshop application with no problem. But if you are on, on, on Wayland, this doesn't happen because Flameshop throws an error. That's uh, that's it, that's how you fix that. If you're still having problems with, uh, with Flameshot, reach out to me and we can go on a one-on-one -on -one basis to see what's going on with your PC. See you, see you, uh, see you next time.